When creating a campaign, you're able to select what kind of engagement slash marketing goal that you're looking for. At this point, you can pick everything from gaining organic sales and popularity or feedback on your marketplace, or paying professional influencers to unbox your product and videotape it. I will select an unboxing. The next step is going to be picking what kind of social channels, where you would like the influencer to post. Personally, I would like something on YouTube and Instagram. Now, the influencers can pick what kind of channels that they want to post to. So sometimes they may add Twitter or only pick YouTube. So on your management page, you're able to see which social channels they're they are willing to post to after they apply. Next, you'll have a budget per influencer. If the marketing goal does not require a budget, for example, you're not going to be paying influencers, you will not see the option for a budget. I'll select the best ROI. Next are product details. At this juncture, you can either enter in manually a new product, enter in ASIN and have it fetch the product from Amazon, or you can pick from pre-existing campaigns and product information. I'm going to enter an ASIN and have the product details pulled in for me. At that point, you can see everything is pulled in. Now, something to be very aware of is the URL that is pulled in or may be there uh, from a previous campaign is the URL that people will be sharing socially. So do make sure, and you can see here in the pro tip, that this URL is the URL that you want the influencers to share on their social posts. That is a very critical point. If it's a different URL, click on edit and edit the product URL at the top and save the product details. The next step will be picking how the product will be shipped to the influencer. Now, how will the influencer receive the product can be anything from uh, coupon codes on Amazon, a coupon code outside Amazon, which is why there's a, a separate option. You can email them. Let's say it's a digital product. You can email them via the Thomason Message Center and attach it that way. Or you can send the product via a normal shipping carrier like FedEx. I'm going to select Amazon. So I do not need Amazon Prime because the user may or may not have it. So I don't typically require Amazon Prime. I will be sending a coupon code and I can paste the coupon codes in here one at a time like this, one on each line. Or what I can do is actually upload a CSV or TXT file here. The last step is going to be where will the influencer actually need to redeem the coupon code if that was selected. Typically what you can do is copy the product URL because normally the product URL that you're sharing socially is typically the same URL that you want them to use to actually use the coupon code and redeem it. If it is a different URL, please copy and paste that there. Lastly is your settings. These are optional settings where you can do you can include everything from hashtags that influencers should include, other special instructions, uh, also prerequisites like age, demographic, location, even make a private campaign that will not be listed on Thomason so that you can invite privately only the people that you want to the campaign. Your last step, you can either preview or publish the campaign. If you publish the camp campaign, please allow 6 to 24 hours for our team to review it and push the campaign live. Thank you.